I'm back. What is up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, all of the things. So listen, I wasn't planning on being gone as long as I was. I was really only wanting to be gone for like a week, maybe two max around the holidays. But once I was ready to come back, literally just started hitting the fan. My parents were sick, my sister, her husband, all her kids were sick, then my dad had a pretty bad injury, then I got sick, I've got poison ivy on my face right now, then things started going wrong with my furnace, having to get that addressed, I had no heat for a few days, just so much stuff, and then one major thing, which I don't think I'm, I'm ready to talk about quite yet, but I have filmed all of it, so you guys will be seeing it, I'm just not ready quite yet. I don't know, maybe stick around to the end of the video and I'll put a little clip at the very end of what I'm talking about, but we're not going to get into that today this is what we're getting into so if you guys saw in my community i my community tab i posted saying that i wanted to get another grinder just because and you guys know me i'm a gryphon girl so gryphon actually did not send this one to me i bought this with my own money so i got the gryphon studio glass grinder because i haven't had this one yet i had the gryphette absolutely love it i have the convertible grinder absolutely love it now we're gonna try the gryphon studio glass grinder so i figured in today's video we'll just open this up and i can kind of just give you guys my first impressions and at the end of the video we'll talk about what is the plan for the future in upcoming videos so if that sounds like something you guys are into let's get started okay guys so hopefully this view is okay just kind of as i'm initially talking about this thing and pulling it out of the box so yeah i got this thing right from amazon again i paid for this with my own money it is the gryphon studio diamond grinder and it is 200 dollars 61 cents right now i'll have everything linked in my description after tax i paid 213 dollars 15 cents now let's just talk a little bit about what it says on the actual listing so gryphon describes this as the gryphon studio grinder is one of your best buys in diamond grinders it offers professional quality performance at a hobbyist price it features the most powerful motor in its class which i love i love gryphon motors the motor will not stall no matter how hard you push on the glass and honestly for somebody like me that's exactly what i'm looking for the grinder also features rugged construction standard clear face shield and standard flexible spray guards the gravity fed coolant tower provides exactly the right amount of clean water to the bit at all times versatile sponge placement cools two bits at once and there's no need to switch back and forth so the item weight is nine pounds again this is gryphon it is the studio grinder again two hundred dollars and sixty one cents about 215 after tax so with all of that out of the way let's pop this baby open it's so hard getting in something in the mail and not being able to open it right away so here's what we got right on top looks like we've got a little instruction manual then it looks like we've got a bag of extra supplies cool i love this so it comes with a good amount of grinding sponges because these sponges are just they're a little bit different and they're hard to find the correct ones it looks like it comes with a bunch of extra tubing everything we're going to need to put up the face shields comes with a little allen wrench in there so all of our extra parts and supplies are going to be inside this bag then we've got our actual grinder all right here is our face shield so we've got our grinder right here packaged very well per usual in the classic purple gryphon color and the yellow sticker okay so right off the bat you guys the very first thing i'm noticing is how lightweight this machine is i wouldn't expect anything else because it is such a small machine this is definitely something very compact and portable you don't have a massive surface area to work with up here but that's exactly what i was looking for since i was just adding another grinder to my collection and of course it looks like it comes with a standard one inch bit on top we've got our on off switch right here so yeah just a standard looking grinder here is our plug so i think we can start taking a look at our instruction manual and start putting this thing together okay so gryphon studio diamond grinder instructions safety precautions assembly prep leave grinder unplugged until ready to use okay so safety precautions i'm not going to read that to you guys place face shield extensions into slots on cooling tower with the open end of the c bracket facing forward so here's our little cooling tower that's facing forward so we're going to take our two little face shield extensions and we want them facing forward like that so here's the front we've got this little bracket right here and we've got these c's or the open ends of the c's facing forward snap face shield onto top of extensions 
Insert sponge into fingers at front of cooling tower. The sponge should hang approximately a half inch below the cooling tower. New sponges may be cut from common kitchen sponges. I don't necessarily agree with that. Common kitchen sponges are completely different. They do not absorb and hold and suck up water the same way most of these grinder sponges do. There's no way it's supposed to sit that far back. But there's no way it's supposed to sit that close to the bit. Is that right? Am I just not smart? Am I missing something here? So I know these go here, and I love that they come with extra ones of these, by the way, because these things get nasty and they get kind of nasty quick. Push our little wings in. You want them to sit nice and flat up against your grid. So I'm pushing those wings in all the way. So I'm going to dampen my sponge because I think it's gonna be a little bit easier to put it in the sponge fingers once it's wet. All right, so I trimmed this sponge up just a little bit more to try to get it to fit better because it just seems so tight. And something I wish that the directions would talk about a little bit more are these little holes down here. So can you see that tiny, tiny little pinhole? And then there seems to be a plug above it. There's a little plastic piece if you look inside down here, so it seems like we could remove that plug if we wanted to, but there's also a tiny little pinhole underneath it. So I'm just gonna assume that that tiny pinhole is enough and go with it. And I'm just gonna try to shove it back in place. Again, this is a really, really tight fit. So I'm just trying to shove it kind of down into the hole and get it in place. So then it says to place a small cup underneath our drain hole over here to catch any drain water. And now we fill our cooling tower with water, add grinder coolant if you prefer. Make sure the sponge is wet, it is. If you're using a small grinding head, such as a grinding pin, you may fold the sponge over so it reaches the grinding surface of the head. Always make sure that water can reach the head, otherwise damage to the diamond head may result. Let's fill up our little tower here. All right, let's fill up our tower. Okay. Unfortunately, I think this is where people are going wrong with these directions. It says assembly and preparations, and instead of going directly into using the grinder, the next thing goes to changing grinding heads. So I don't know why it doesn't go directly to operating instructions. The operating instructions are on the back of the packet. So skipping the change in grinding heads and going right to operating instructions, it says place grinder in area with good ventilation and lighting. Make sure that water will drain into appropriate receptacle. Plug grinder into grounded three prong socket and ensure that the coolant tower remains full of water and the sponge is wet. If you prefer grinding without the coolant tower, you may insert the sponge into the hole in the platform adjacent to the grinding head. Make sure that the sponge remains wet. Turn on the grinder using switch on the right. If you prefer, you may plug grinder into a approved foot switch rated for three amps or more and then grind. Add water to coolant tower as required. Never block the drain hole under the work surface or the drain tube to drain catch pan. Water must not be allowed to fill beneath the work surface or it could overflow into the motor. When done, turn it off and clean between uses. All right, I think we're just about ready to start grinding and it does seem like that tiny little pinhole is keeping this sponge pretty darn wet and I'm happy with that. Okay, so let me grab just a few small pieces of glass and we can just test this out really quick and then I will give you guys my final thoughts on what I think about this grinder and my first impressions. Let's get started. I'm curious to see how loud this thing is. Not bad. Okay, so what do I think of the Gryphon Studio Grinder? I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised. When I went into this, I was thinking it was just gonna be another normal glass grinder. Of course, I was going to like it, but I actually really like this. It was quite fun to use. I almost didn't wanna stop grinding. I wanted to keep going, and for me, that's a big deal, because grinding is my least favorite part out of the entire stained glass process, but I had a lot of fun. And the coolant tower works quite well. It's tricky to cut down your sponge into the right size, and the right width, but once you get it, it's perfect. And that tiny little pinhole does provide enough water for it to constantly throw, flow through that sponge. And I imagine if you wanted even more that you probably could pop that pin out, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll see if I can get in touch with Matt from over at Gryphon and see if that little pin is something we can remove if we did want more water flow coming through the tower. But yeah, with the tower, using it without, 
I think it worked great. But if you're gonna get a grinder like this, I wouldn't suggest getting it if you're planning on using it without the tower. Like I said, it did work with just the sponge, but it's not like you can fill this water basin down here. You have to continuously wet that sponge yourself, which is a pain. So if you're looking for just a more compact, smaller grinder, I would say go for something like the Gryfet. So I totally approve of this grinder. Like I said, it was fun. It works great. I stand behind Gryphon, love their machines, love their motors. I loved it. This little drain tube over here. I think it's wicked cool. Again, it's just a, a unique aspect to a grinder. It makes a little bit more fun and it's much more controlled. Having such a small amount of water contained inside here seems to control the splash that comes off of the bit as well. I don't know. I like it. I had a lot of fun doing it. Like I said, I didn't want to stop grinding. I approve. I totally approve. I think if you're looking at a grinder like this, I absolutely have no problem suggesting it. That is for sure. It was fun. Okay, so I approve of the Gryphon Studio Grinder. Now let's talk about some upcoming videos. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's talk about upcoming videos. So I do have to do some stained glass shopping up in the future. So we're definitely going to be going to visit Debbie and Mark over at Toy Town Stained Glass very, very soon, but I don't think that's going to be my next video, but I'm not sure yet. So I was thinking my next video, we could make another project out of our Amazon stained glass books. And specifically, it would be out of the 40 Great Stained Glass Project book. So again, this is right from Amazon. I'll have the book linked down below if you don't already have it. And I was thinking we could make the Little Country Church. So this is a little nightlight and it's a church. Of course, we're gonna make it a little bit more modern, a little bit more me. I'm gonna pick completely different glass but you guys have to get a few little different um, bits and bobs like brass rods, obviously your little night light setup that's gonna go inside of it. So if you do wanna make this, make sure you check out everything you're going to need to make this piece if you're planning on doing it with me. Again, this is out of the 40 Great Stained Glass Projects book. I'll have this one and the other book that we're normally working out of linked down below if you're new here on my channel. So yeah, let me know if you guys wanna make that or let me know if you have a different project out of one of these books in mind instead. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing some glass shopping, but I'm also kind of getting ready to start a new little art venture. It's not like it's gonna replace stained glass or anything. It's just one of the many crafts that I am trying out all the time, and that is sublimation. So I actually got a Epson Eco Tank, one of their printers in today, and I'm going to be converting that into a sublimation printer. So I don't know if you guys have any interest in seeing those completely different crafts like that. Maybe I'll film how I'm going to convert it. I did learn how to do that here on YouTube. So if I do film that video, I will link everybody's video who I've already watched down in the description of that video. But you guys will have to let me know first. Do you guys wanna see a completely different craft like that? So yeah, let me know if you guys have any interest in seeing a craft like that. Maybe I'll film that as well. But yeah, I think that's it for today's video, guys. So let me know what you thought. I'm gonna keep testing this out. I will keep you guys posted. And yeah, I'll be back in a couple of days. I'm so glad to be back, guys. I missed you so, so very much. So yeah, thank you for sticking around if you did, but that's it for today's video. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did. Comment down below and let me know what do you wanna see next, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You see her? It's a baby. She's a little baby. She's a little baby. What do you think? <laughs>